Hi, hello everyone. There are certain classes of goods which do not follow the principles of law of demand which states that there is an inverse relationship between the price of a commodity and the quantity that is demanded. After a certain level of price is reached, it violates the law of demand. Let's see what are these goods and why is it that for these goods it has an upward moving sloping curve contrary to the typical downward moving curve and the reasons behind this effect in this video. The goods that violate the law of demand are called as Veblen goods. A Veblen good generally is considered a high quality product because of its exclusive nature and appeal as a status symbol. When the price gets higher, its status symbol makes the Veblen good more desirable and as such demand for its increases to consumers with high social and economic standing. The Veblen effect is the positive impact of the price of a particular commodity on the quantity demanded of that commodity. It is named after an American economist, Thorsten Veblen, who studied the phenomena of conspicuous consumption in the 19th century. Thorsten Veblen was an economist and sociologist who is best known for coining the term conspicuous consumption in his book The Theory of the Leisure Class in 1899. He was mainly interested in the relationship between the economy, society and culture. Now what is conspicuous consumption? It is the purchase of those goods for the specific purpose of displaying one's wealth. It is rather a means to show one's social status, especially when the goods and services publicly displayed are very expensive and shows to other people of a person's class. As per Veblen, people made such purchases to signal their economic status and accomplishments to others. He also critiqued the consumption habits of the super wealthy and questioned their values. Now let us look at this demand curve shown here. When the price of a particular commodity was P, the demand was A. And as the price of the commodity rises further up, the quantity demanded of the commodity falls from A to B. As the price of the commodity rises further up, the quantity demanded of that particular commodity falls from B to C. So between prices A and C, the law of demand holds and there exists an inverse relationship between the price of a commodity and demand for that commodity. However, for prices beyond PC, the Veblen effect comes into play or dominates over the law of demand. As the price rises from PC to PD, demand increases from C to D. For all the prices above this, the law of demand does not hold and there exists a positive relationship between the prices of a commodity and demand for the commodity. This is what is called as the Veblen effect. Now, Veblen goods are never necessary goods. Unlike most goods, which normally have a downward sloping demand curve because demand goes down as and when prices goes up, a Veblen good has an upward sloping demand curve. Veblen goods are high quality coveted items. They are luxury items with a strong brand identity and are not sold in regular stores. Very affluent and wealthy people can only afford to buy them as the goods are priced so high. The higher their price, the less likely other consumers can afford to buy. If a Veblen's good price decreases, demand will decrease because consumers who are status conscious will look at it as less exclusive. Now, some of the ex common examples of Veblen goods include luxury cars, designer bags, wines, champagne, diamonds, Rolex watches, fast cars and fine jewellery. Now let us look at the reasons for the Veblen effect. Now the first is the quality perception. 
for certain luxury goods and services when the prices are higher it is often perceived to be of higher quality therefore a price increase was seen as evidence of the producer maintaining or improving quality for example the demand for a designer handbag rises with an increase in its price the price increase is viewed by consumers as evidence that the producer of the designer handbag has improved the quality of the handbag now the second reason is positional goods Bevlin goods are often positional goods and the quantity demanded depends on how the good is distributed in society. Bevlin goods often exhibit a negative positional effect that is the quantity demanded of a Bevlin good increases with a reduction in the distribution of the good. It occurs because the utility gained by a consumer from holding such a good arises purely from the fact that few other consumers hold it. For example, the utility gained by a consumer from owning a yacht might arise primarily from the fact that few other people in society can afford to own such an object. Thus, for this consumer, this acts as a positional good. Now, conspicuousness was in existence since ages. It is believed that a band of pirates in the agency captured Julius Caesar. The capture was a minor inconvenience for Caesar. who was courageous and intelligent even though he was not a proven politician but he took the chance to prove his worthiness from the start caesar refused to behave like a captive when the pirates told him that they had set his ransom at the sum of 20 talents that is approximately 620 kg of silver he mocked at them for not knowing whom they had captured and suggested that it should be 50 talents that is approximately 1600 kg of silver would be a more appropriate amount The pirates were dumbfounded and confused. A hostage rarely negotiates his ransom. Subsequently, the pirates let his men go back to Rome to get the ransom and settle in for a period of captivity. Julius suddenly became more famous because of the huge ransom demand and made his recognition himself in wider political circles. Once he was freed, Caesar managed to quickly raise a small fleet as now he was more famous and important. and he took the foes back to the island where he had been held captive he captured and killed them and took back his 1600 kg of silver along with all their possessions thus in 75 bc caesar had made himself a veblen brand based on the ransom amount and created a veblen effect it was because of his strategy and bold risk taking ability combined with his charismatic leadership quality that he could do so In a nutshell this spiral is called Veblen perception. The Veblen goods are products or services that the seller charges more money for and consumers tend to believe that when the goods are priced high it is more worthy because of its high price and that alone makes it more desirable. Hope this information has been useful. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Take care.